गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रतीक महाजन आई एम ट्रेवलिंग एट मैक्रेटिनो हॉस्पिटल वी आर कमिटेड टू प्रोवाइड द बेस्ट ऑफ द ट्रीटमेंट टू आर पेशेंट्स विच इज एविडेंस बेस्ड एंड विच इज राइट फॉर द डिसीज ओके सो टूडे एक्चुअली आई एम ट्रेवलिंग एंड आई एम कैरिंग विथ मी अ न्यू मॉलिक्यूल वेल let's discuss about age related macular degeneration so what happens in age related macular degeneration is that there are choroidal new vessels which are being formed and uh, these vessels are being formed in response to vegf okay so what happens vegf is a molecule vascular endothelial growth factor now what happens this vegf goes and uh, attaches to a receptor just as we see this okay this uh, attaches to this so this is vegf and this is a vgf receptor so when the vgf attaches to its receptor the receptor gets activation and there is again a new vessel formation and which causes the progression of the disease what we call as a wet age related macular degeneration now the treatment is that if we can hold this vgf so that it doesn't activates the vgf receptor now to hold this vgf we require a anti vegf so these anti vegf are actually monoclonal antibodies that uh, require multiple injections into the vitreous cavity so right now we have multiple options like uh, bevacizumab and ranibizumab if we uh, see the molecular weight of these molecules these monoclonal antibodies the bevacizumab is about 150 kilo daltons and ranibizumab is about 50 kilo daltons so but now uh, uh, the company has come up with a new molecule which is smaller in size and since it's a small in size so when we inject a volume there would be more number of molecules injected into the vitreous cavity so the new molecule is i am carrying with me it is uh, actually in a cold box in a ice box because we have to uh, maintain the temperature between 2 to 8 degree celsius so this is page next so this is brolicizumab solution so what happens it's a, a small molecule so there will be more number of molecules injected into the vitreous cavity and recent trials uh, have demonstrated that we can uh, the efficacy of injection lasts for uh, about Three months after the three loading doses. So finally, with wet related, with for patients with wet age related macular degeneration, till now we had an option of like giving one injection every month to continue. But now we have option that after three loading doses, perhaps the treatment could be extended to one injection every three months. So that would be a great breakthrough in the treatment. in wet age related macular degeneration so let's look forward for the betterment for these patients thank you